We have more now on the George Zimmerman verdict. He is a free man this morning after a Florida jury found him not guilty in the shooting death of 17 year old Trayvon Martin. Joining me now is attorney Enrique Latoyzon to help break down this verdict. Good morning, Enrique. Good morning. Hey, uh, Enrique, I guess first where I want to start, um, there have been quite a few people, analysts out there, who say that the turning point in this case was the testimony from Trayvon Martin's friend, the young woman who was on the phone with him just moments before he was shot and killed, and that the defense seemed to be effective in knocking down her testimony. What's your reaction to that? Was that the turning point in this case? Well, I mean, it was definitely not a good witness for the prosecution. I mean, the evidence that came out during her testimony talked about um, Trayvon Martin potentially making a um, statement that a racial statement which kind of led the defense to be able to say that they were um, sizing up Mr. Zimmerman in a negative fashion. She also changed her testimony back and forth, was inconsistent, got into a lot of sparring battles with the defense, and it really took a hurt on her credibility in this case. What do you think was the most compelling piece of evidence in this case for this jury that they may have considered in their acquittal of George Zimmerman? Was it the 911? call was it George Zimmerman's uh, account to police that was played during the trial it definitely had to be the witness from the prosecution which the prosecution called which was the neighbor who talked about the fact that he seen Trayvon Martin on top of George Zimmerman doing MMA bows on top of his head um, that I think was the most compelling piece of evidence the 911 call which everyone discussed a lot it was too much inconsistency with different people saying that's his voice that's his voice and no one being able to to specifically say whose voice it was. But the blows, um, the physical contact of Mr. Uh, Trayvon Martin on top of Mr. Zimmerman, I definitely was a, a real, real bad for the prosecution, was real good for the defense. Enrique, I also want to ask you, of course, race has been a big part of this case, but interestingly, it was not directly addressed during trial. What kind of impact do you think that had on the jury? Did it have an impact? Uh, I would think that it didn't have an impact. This had an impact on all of us, all of society, um, the people, this controversial verdict in this case. Um, everyone is always going to continue to talk about that Mr. Zimmerman should not have followed Trayvon, should not have sized him up, should not have profiled him. Had he not done that, there would never have been an altercation, never would have ended up with a child that's dead. And that's why I think right now um, there are different people that are protesting this verdict, and it's a very polarizing verdict and it all comes down to had he not followed Trayvon Martin had he not sized up Trayvon Martin and profiled him this would have never occurred there would have never been an actual altercation in this case Enrique one final thing um, George Zimmerman of course has yet to say anything we may never hear from him but his brother uh, did speak to the press briefly after the verdict was read last night he said that the family of course is relieved but they are concerned for George Zimmerman's safety and that his brother will constantly have have to be looking over his shoulder uh, from here on out. What kind of life can he lead uh, beyond beyond this? I don't think he's going to have a normal life. It's just, it goes the same thing as Casey Anthony. Um, we haven't seen or heard from Casey Anthony since her verdict. And I think you're going to find the same with George Zimmerman. He's not going to be a person that you're going to be able to walk down the street and freely uh, be able to integrate back into society. He's always going to be known about this case. And, and people are always going to have, uh, you know, very strong opinions on whether or not this was a just verdict or an, an unjust verdict. All right. Enrique Latoyzon joining us live from our Digital Operations Center. Thanks so much for being up with us this morning, Enrique. Thank you for having me.